Welcome back, art students. As you can see, I have gotten much farther along with the coloring process, and I thought it would be fun that you included a line at the bottom, so it looks like your items are resting on some type of a surface. This surface, I think I would probably just think of it as a wooden table or something, so I'm just going to color that in with brown. And then for this entire background, you could either just leave it if you are satisfied with the white kind of creamy color, or if you would like, you could color that in. And if you're going to color it in, you want to color it in lightly and be careful around everything that you just worked on. For example, if I'm coloring this, maybe I would like to choose a lighter color because the lighter colors, such as yellow, for example, if you accidentally bump into a darker color, you don't typically recognize that as much. It's a good tip. So since I'm using yellow, I guess I'm using yellow. <laughs> Something naturally told me that I should just grab the yellow and make that choice. So I'm actually going right over a lot of my work with the yellow crayon, but I'm pressing really lightly. I'm not going really hard and heavy. And I'm trying to be careful around areas that I don't want it to be yellow. We are almost done. Now, you don't have to only pick one color for your background. If you want to mix in a little bit, maybe a little bit of brown, you could do that too. Or maybe mix in a little bit of another color. You decide. You choose. Maybe just a little bit though. Don't want to get too many colors going on in the background. Otherwise, it can become very distracting. So you really want to figure that out. Maybe you want colors that are similar to already what's happening in here. Like if I made my entire background this hot pink color that I used on this flower, it would really take away from what I want people to focus on and that's right in here, okay? We want a good balance of different textures, whether that's the texture in your grass, um, the texture in your petals of your flowers or these little puffball things have a good variety going on so that it feels balanced. And you want a nice balance between um, how you're using your colors and how you're using your shapes, okay? So as you're creating yours, I really hope that you consider or have considered at this point using those elements and those principles. getting caught up in my own details. All right, and that looks like it is done. Good job. It's gonna be ready for fall time. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.